How's it going, YouTube? This is going to be a, re a full review on the Samsung, um, I believe it's the HT550, HTD550, uh, home theater unit. So this is the head unit with the DVD player. I have a DVD in it on pause right now on the resume feature. Got a my left-hand speaker here. I got my center channel mounted in the middle of this black fabric. I have my right-hand speaker up here. I have my surround sound speaker back there, and another surround sound speaker here. Uh, now, when you first get it, you should see this menu um, without having a disc in it. Um, this is going to be for the people that want to play surround sound out of, let's say, a cable box. Uh, it will only come in to channel at first, and it's going to be very frustrating because the, the inf instructions don't say anything about how to change that. Go to Settings. Uh, let me turn the lights off so you guys can see this better. Because already, I've already done this. I don't need to do this again. But if we go to Settings, you see all of these settings in here. I have it displayed at 1080. Uh, so go to Audio. Go to ASC Setting. Now, ASC is Auto Sound Calibration, so that means whatever it detects coming in, if it's 2-channel or if it's 6-channel, it's going to display it as that. Well, all the cable coming in from my cable box was 2-channel, so it was only playing in that speaker and that speaker and not in the center channel or either of the two DVD uh, surround sound in the back. So go to ASC setting, and mine is set to off, and now I can manually set whatever I want the the cable box to come out of just by hitting a few buttons on my controller here mainly right here which is your Dolby Pro Dolby Pro Logic button all right well now that I showed you that uh, the movie automatically plays in surround sound so I have four brothers loaded in here and it's the uh, the time when all the, uh, let's just call them bad guys, show up to the house and try to kill everybody in the house. Um, so I just have it set on that to display how well everything does. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do have the subwoofer uh, way back here. I know you guys can't see that. Let me turn the light on see if you can see the subwoofer I have hidden. My subwoofer is right there. Right behind this entire mess of crap. So, you guys are probably going to ask, well, how well does it work? I'll show you. We'll, uh, we'll hit play. This is only on volume 13. Let's hope it resumes where it left off. Yep, there we go. So this is on 13, 15. His family's in there. 20. Let's see if we can get to a better part of the movie here. Here we go. This is the part of the movie we want to see. This is going to have the most action, and this is going to put out in Dolby Digital Surround sound. Now you see I have the volume of 25. And this is in surround sound. Now how loud does it go? So that is the surround sound system in a nutshell. Um, it's a fantastic system. I bought it at Best Buy for $179. I don't know if it's on clearance, closeout, discontinued, what, but the system is phenomenal. Uh, I have it playing through HDMI. 
So there's an HDMI system on the back of it. Right now I have it through this HDMI splitter. But this is the HDMI in from the home theater system. This is the HDMI out to my projector. And so it plays right on my projector through HDMI cable. Uh, no need for any other cables. No need for any um, audio cables to be hooked up to the projector or any audio cables to be hooked up anywhere else. It plays through its own audio system thanks to the built-in DVD. Um, so other than that, I really like it. And I'm really, really glad that I did put it in. One really quick side note is that if you look right here, I have this splitter that, uh, I have the splitter to split incoming audio signal. So I have two incoming to here and one outgoing to here. And the reason for that is because, uh, I was splitting my Xbox signal and my cable box signal here at the at the home theater system but I was doing it with these splitters and for some odd reason it did not like having two inputs coming in through this one this one system so I had to buy this which is only about 20 bucks at at Radio Shack which just takes two inputs and gives one output it's the same thing except it's not so close and it's not all coming through this one wire. It's one input at a time, so I can switch back and forth between Xbox, cable box, Xbox, cable box. Very simple. Uh, so I did need that to complete the surround sound system. But other than that, everything works really well, and I'm very, very impressed by it. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about my entire home theater system or one portion of it, feel free to drop me a line at the comment section below or a private message on my channel. Thanks a lot, guys, and I hope to hear good things from you.